What is up, everybody? So, it is Tuesday. We still do not have a fucking ban list to save our fucking lives. So, with that being said, I'm going to take you guys on my day. Off from work. Drink a little bit of energy drink. Rip it. Lime record. The best one they have. And I'm, I'm going to be discussing a few Yu-Gi-Oh! topics. This is... Another edition of Full Day of Yu-Gi-Oh! Minus Locals. For you guys that are new here, Full Day of Yu-Gi-Oh! is a segment on my channel where you, me, a Yu-Gi-Oh! player, take you guys, the subscribers, or future subscribers, on my day and discuss certain Yu-Gi-Oh! topics. I don't know what this video is going to be about, so, but I'm about to hit the gym. I'm going to see y'all guys in the next clip so we can discuss our Yu-Gi-Oh! playing topics. It's probably going to be bandless related, though, because I already mentioned that, and the last one was bandless related. All right, man. Hit the outro. No. Hit the intro. Based on my wrist, looking kind of cool. Bad bitch with me. She ain't trying to move. Niggas staring at me. What you trying to do? Got me looking at my watch, and it's time to do All right, y'all, so as y'all can see, I finished going to the gym, finished eating my post-workout meal, which was a nice, nice half slab of ribs, and it was so fucking good. Oh my God, it was amazing. This place in, near my house called Barbecue, literally called Barbecue. They make really good food. I tried them at the Rib Fest one time in Chicago. Excellent food. The one little thing I want to, the first thing I want to discuss about this Yu-Gi-Oh! topic today is um, I guess I'm gonna be going over a little bit of balance stuff. But I did notice, um, one thing that kind of irked me is a lot of people making Yu-Gi-Oh memes out of 9-11. And it's just like, really, y'all? Come on now. I ain't trying to be the old man and suck fun out of everyone's day, but be respectful. Like, that's a catastrophic event. A lot of people lost their lives. A lot of people lost loved ones. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys in the community lost loved ones or know somebody who lost somebody. Um, I just don't think it's funny. Um, yeah, but that's beyond the point, man. I mean, people gonna be, that's the, that's, that's the nature of the internet for you. Another thing that I thought was interesting as well is that Pokemon, according to this top 10 card game list for 2018, I think it did it by a month, is outselling Yu-Gi-Oh! And it's actually being a, considered a better game than Yu-Gi-Oh! I think the top 10 list when it follows, um, Magic, of course, is number one. It's kind of hard to dethrone Magic. Pokemon was number two. Yu-Gi-Oh! was sitting at number three. And I think um, it was some other random game, Force of Will, and then Dragon Ball Super. I'm just like, <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh! finally got knocked off that top 10, um, you, know, you know, top two slot of being the best card game. I'm not saying it probably won't pick up. I believe that's just because Yu-Gi-Oh! has been kind of crap for the past couple months. The whole extra linking thing and you know nightmares just um making a game and firewall during the course making a game not so fun with the amount of spamming you're able to do and that's just the nature of you in general i think the main reason why pokemon is definitely doing better in terms of sales not saying you was dying or anything like that is definitely because of from speaking of people who play the game you know cash pricing is a big thing but another big thing is how cheap it is to play like literally apparently according to people i know you can literally you buy the core deck and if you want to foil it out you probably pay about a couple hundred bucks versus buying um a Yu-Gi-Oh deck a couple hundred bucks is only gonna get you like three cards hashtag ash them so that's just something to think about when it comes down to playing Yu-Gi-Oh. i'm gonna need to get it together man what's gonna happen next the Yu-Gi-Oh is gonna get bumped out by another game and be number four then number five then, then number six I mean, times are changing. You can't just keep not live streaming events. You can't just keep not having cash pricing. You can't just keep um, screwing players over with the non-ban list, dropping it whenever, even though we got a major event in two weeks. And it's going to suck for everyone at the 200th YCS. If we don't get a ban list and we're playing on the current list, like, once again, not saying that the current format is bad, but come on, give us the freshness, bro. Give us the freshness. So, yeah, man, I'm finna go inside of um this place called Walgreens right now. You guys know what Walgreens are, especially y'all in the Midwest. 
and find me some wine. So see y'all in the next club. Yeah, so your boy lost his debit card. Long story. I only got cash and I can only afford Yellowtail. Ugh. Hey, it is what it is though. I was saying. Gotta get that early year. 2016 should definitely be good. Okay, I don't care how old I get, I definitely love going through the toy aisle. I have fond memories of being a kid, begging my grandparents and my mom for toys. Like, you already know I'm a big Beyblade fan, let it rip. But just all kind of different things. Like, look at this overpriced Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. $13.99, what a rip off Walgreens. Yeah, man, they got some pretty good stuff though. Like, I definitely would have loved this Gohan as a kid, but that price though, ugh, that's ugly. And these Marvel things are pretty dope too. Remember back when I was a kid, stuff like this was like 10 bucks. Now it's like 20. Definitely not worth it in my personal opinion. What is this, DC stuff? Yeah. Yeah. The toy owl ain't what it used to be. Everyone now just orders stuff off Amazon. That's why everything here is so overpriced. Okay, bro, I know this is not a toy channel, but look at this shit. Save nine bucks on a metal pink Power Ranger. N now, I usually don't buy toys, but since it's on clearance for a dollar, I gotta pick this up. You can't beat a dollar, bro. Probably get a couple of these mystery Minecraft boxes for my son, too. They're on clearance for like 44 cents. Can't beat that. The boy's gonna be very happy. Bro, I'm still in shock of this shit. 39 cents for these toys, man. 39 cents. Kids love this stuff. They retail it like four bucks. Like, that's the reason why they, um, 39 seconds no one's buying it no one's gonna pay four bucks for this little toy it's pretty dope man pretty dope the main thing though 99 cents for a pink power ranger die cast metal thing retail 10 bucks probably retail like eight walgreens has probably got it for 10. wish it could have been a green ranger though but you know what i ain't even gonna complain like i'm not even gonna open this thing i'm just gonna keep it for a long time it may be worth something one day but for a dollar, you can't really beat it. Even if I sell it for five bucks, I still make profit. And yes, for you guys that are wondering, my check engine light is on. This car is a piece of crap. Long story, but the car dies on me randomly. You guys already know who watched that epic live stream of me driving and my car just died. See you guys in the next clip. OP. Yeah, that's good coffee. All puns intended though. Not sponsored. Nespresso sponsor your boy. And I would definitely pimp the hell out of y'all coffee. I love it so much. But I guess I should be talking about something more Yu-Gi-Oh related in this part of the video. And then I guess I'm gonna bring it back to the 200th, 200th YCS. Apparently a lot of people from America are thinking about going to that event. I think it's awesome, but a guy in Zodiac Duelist made a good point. If you guys are gonna go down there, make sure that you guys are at least somewhat fluent in um, Japanese have Japanese cars and know the format because they would not be compensating people who know nothing about um, the Japanese meta or who can't speak a lick of Japanese. So if you guys are going to YCS Japan, just be on the lookout, man. Y'all definitely want to get screwed over. All right, man. See y'all in the next clip. All right, y'all. So I decided to change the scenery up. Decided to come into my backyard. And I wanted to talk about one thing I believe that will definitely improve Yu-Gi-Oh as a car game as an anime and whatever so let's get into it so one thing I think Yu-Gi-Oh definitely needs out of all things because Yu-Gi-Oh is an entity I love I grew up on it been playing a car game for 16 years it's definitely a anime but you know from being a fan of the Beyblade anime I think Yu-Gi-Oh could take some tips from the Beyblade anime and that's just keeping it simple pokemon does this as well and people eat this shit up like hotcakes bro every Yu-Gi-Oh anime i've seen they'll start off with a little bit of card game playing then go into some crazy like save the world type of arc and shit right now that's pretty cool but why not just do it the old school battle city bro was one of the most amazing arcs ever in Yu-Gi-Oh for multiple reasons and then you had a Siler arc from um, 5Ds and then you also had the um, Ori Calcos arc from you know the main series and the Ori Calcos arc was great right that was a pretty good arc but the main reason what made these arcs good was tournament Yu-Gi-Oh at its core is a card game competitive card gaming what card game um, competitiveness does tournaments now 
I haven't watched Reigns that much. I can't really speak on it. But I can tell you I've watched a few episodes of Reigns, a few episodes of Five Days, a few episodes of every Yu-Gi-Oh! series, and I've never seen them really focus on a heavy tournament or correct me if I'm wrong. And if they do, it's a small portion of it, not taken too seriously. But eventually it transformed into a save the world gimmick where they gotta sacrifice themselves and cars. Man, cut all that shit out. Keep it simple, bro. Like, just make it as like Beyblade and Pokemon. They have your main character, they suck at first, they get better, they train for their event, they go to the event, they go to the regionals, they do they might scrub out, they go to another regions, they do good. Nationals, then worlds. Season one over. Season two starts. Kind of the same thing. You have new rivals, new adventures, new sets. I would eat that up like no tomorrow. Only because it's so realistic to real life, man. This is just a little tidbit out what I think will make Yu-Gi-Oh! as an anime better. And it a better car game because a lot more people and kids can relate to it. Because a lot of us do go to these events and we do go to local so it'll be something we can sit down and watch and understand kind of like how dragon ball z pretty much has been the same thing verbatim for the past few years where it's always like hey it's fighting hey it's say the world but guess what tournament time or pokemon is like hey new pokemon new adventures a little bit of say the world guess what tournament time i mean kazuki takahashi man just take some notes bro it's like his animes are reversed he get a splash the tournament a lot of side of the world. I think we need to backtrack and make car game anime like Yu-Gi-Oh! Well, specifically Yu-Gi-Oh! in general, more realistic to real life, man. Real life. Alright, man, this is just something I want to think about. I want to take it outside. It's getting kind of noisy. Hoping the audio is not that messed up. This mic is amazing, by the way, so I hope the mic picks up my voice. See you guys in the next clip. Yes. Episode 2 of The Purge, baby. Big fan of this show. I saw episode 1 last week and loved it. I can't wait to see what this episode unfolds, too. So freaking excited, bro. So freaking excited. If y'all could purge, name one Yu Gi Oh card y'all purge in the comment section down below right now. Also, tell me what shows are you guys currently watching? You guys know me, I'm a big nerd, so I'm watching a little bit of everything right now. Waiting for Supernatural, the new season to come on. I'm also currently waiting for that new American Horror Story to start tomorrow with the Apocalypse episode. So, cannot wait, man. <laughs> Yu Gi Oh will be after I get done with this, so stay tuned. To close out this video, I wanna discuss one more thing regarding to Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG. Now, there's a big debate going on in the community right now with people talking about Link's hurting the game, Link's gate made Yu-Gi-Oh! crap, and blah, 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 blah. Now, I have my gripes with Lynx. We all know that. And heck, we all have our gripes with Lynx as well. And I don't really think Lynx as a mechanic is bad. I've always said the way Konami handles the Link mechanic is horrible. Uh, making almost literally every deck or making an archetype such as the Nightmares as a supporting thing so powerful they can literally be splashed in every other deck that can barely spam in order to create these infinite loops that we have now to make U-shaped combos, FTKs, OTKs, and etc. Now, it's kind of hard for me to believe as a player that Konami does not know what they're doing when they're designing these cards. Their R&D is not dumb. They're, I believe they're doing this on the, for the main reason to Make a little bit extra money, look a little extra gravy into sell sets. I believe Yu Gi Oh is too far gone from balancing to make a perfect game. Because I also believe Konami has tried to balance Yu Gi Oh in the past with previous ban lists and failed. So they just said, fuck it, let's just break the bank, break every deck, and make it as busted as possible. And all these new mechanics, because obviously people are not going to listen to set rotation force people into new, to the new um, mechanic or forever hold their peace and play crap and or play stun, which is pretty much helmet dot deck. Where does this lead us, guys? Yes, U-shaping is a problem. Yes, Konami will hit it, but the next best deck is gonna be a Link deck. I predict Cybers towards the end of the Link era will probably be the next 
um, Trick Stars, not Trick Stars, will probably be the next Pendulums. They have all the juice and the spice to get there. They have a lot of good supporting things. Right up behind it, I think Cyber Dragons is going to be a good up and coming deck as well. I guess I can take this time out to talk about some up and coming decks as well for the future. Definitely Cyber Dragons, they're getting there, and definitely I think Cybers have a lot of potential. Plus, it's a main character deck and it gets a lot of support. And those are my only twos I can think about but for the most part, guys. In conclusion, Link's gonna kill the game. The game's not dead. Link's ain't killing the game. Konami's just doing what they always did. That's just juicing the players for money. Will they ever change? I don't know. I mean, I hope they do before people just say F it and quit. But for the most part, we're either going to play the game and be happy or just shut the fuck up, stop bitching because a lot of y'all know y'all not going to quit. But I'm not going to tell people they can't rant. I rant all the time. So that being said, man, post your thoughts and opinions about today's vlog in the comment section down below. I know I didn't really do much. I didn't really show y'all as much. I'm just being average today at best. Like, all I did was go to the gym, eat, and then take care of some personal business. But hope this was very enjoyable, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. So with all that being said, once again, this is Innovation of YGO, bringing you guys another awesome Yu-Gi-Oh! vlog, sharing my life with you guys, and I'm signing out. Peace.